Android 4.2.2 on the horizon. More news on the Moto X phone. Dun dun dun! And six unannounced Samsung devices receive benchmarks. All that on this episode of The Mandrid Show. Ha <laughs> ha! Still don't have a background. Yeah. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Who wants to make one for me? Eh? Ah! Oh. Welcome, welcome, my Android friends, to another episode of The Mandroid Show. I appreciate you clicking in. I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com. And yes, I'm thinking about having you guys design me a background Mandroid man cave. Yes, that's right. More, more about it after we talk some Android. Zoomed in! Um, hey! Android 4.2.2 on the horizon. Look at this. Yes, that's right. Android 4.2.2 right there. According to the DigiTimes, every Google employee that is rocking any kind of Nexus device can test out some Android 4.2.2. And they're also saying this is going to be a precursor to Key Lime Pi, which is probably going to be Android 5.0. Not much that's going on with Android 4.2.2, just mainly squashing them damn bugs of the previous one, which I think is the obvious thing, the thing that should be you know, what they should be taking care of. They just keep on going, ah, 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 more and more Android. Man. Let's polish the crap first, and then we'll take those giant steps, which they're doing an all right job at that. Yeah, so most likely we're gonna be seeing some key lamp pie when Google I.O. happens, when they um, show probably the Moto X phone. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Moto X phone's gonna have key lamp pie, but I guess we'll see. We'll see in May. Key lamp pie is disgusting. What's all the jelly beans? And I'm picking some bad ones. Kahlua, people. And speaking of the Google Moto X phone, some more rumored hardware of the phone has reached the internet. And it's gonna be bulletproof. You can't shoot it. Put it over your heart, just in case. Yeah, it seems like the Moto X phone is gonna be wrapped around in that Kevlar little chassis. Yeah. Nah. Which is not anything different because, you know, other Moto phones have been wrapped around in that Kevlar like, you know. Substance? Material? Sometimes I don't even know what the frick I'm talking about. I think the most interesting rumored feature that it might have is it's not going to have the boring old crappy Moto camera, which has plagued, I guess, some Moto phones. Now this is going to go for a Sony censored camera. That's right. So they're going to take the cameras that are probably on the Xperia phones and put it in the Moto phone. So it's going to be kind of like a Franken phone. Just put some of that HTC hardware in there, boys, and we'll be okay. And take away that Moto blur sh these are just rumors, of course, you know, it's supposed to have a 4.8 inch display, it's supposed to be almost pure Google, and I think it's going to have key lamp pie, I guess we'll see Google I.O. just right around the corner, a couple of months, I guess we will find out. And speaking of awesome phones with awesome cameras, looks like the HTC M7 is going to have ultra pixel camera. <sighs> ultra. <laughs> Anybody else get excited? What is ultra pixel, you ask? Well, it's basically going to have three layers, and these three layers are going to act as the colors, you know, kind of like it resembles when you have component cables on either your Blu-ray or your cable box for HD and they have the green, blue, and red cables. It's going to work together to make, I mean, it's going to be 13 megapixels, but since they got all these layers, it's going to be even crisp and clear. That's pretty exciting because, you know, HTC was mentioning that it's going to be, you know, innovating the audio as well as the camera. I remember reading something about the audio, which, I mean, they already have Beats audios. So I don't know how much. I think they're going to have the front-facing speakers, honestly. But as for the camera, I mean, when the One Series came out, I mean, though, that camera was pretty innovative with the... <laughs> I just shot you a lot of times with pictures. So I'm guessing they're going to innovate the camera just a little bit more with this ultra pixel camera. I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait for uh, February 19th when we find out exactly what this M7 is going to rape us with. And we can't leave Samsung out of the mix because <laughs> they would kill me. Six unannounced Samsung devices have gotten benchmarks. Yes, that's correct. There's uh, a list right here that you can see of uh, some weird ones. Some weird names show up right there. The Galaxy Frame, the Galaxy Young, the Galaxy Star. You're a star! Odds are these are code names. One of them might even be the Galaxy S4. Who knows? But yes, six unannounced got benchmarks. So, I mean, Samsung was talking about they have eight devices that are going to be coming out in the next few months. They ain't joking. They're trying to dominate the freaking world like they always do. 
Let's start calling them Skynet. But that's pretty interesting stuff. You know, you Samsung lovers are probably pretty excited about that. Let me know what excited you about the topics I talked about today. The M7, the Samsung products, the Moto X phone. Let me know down below in the balls area. What are you looking forward to the most? Well, alright guys, that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about. And yes, I was gonna... I had an idea. Somebody actually left a comment on last Friday or last Tuesday's show because I did a quick and right. Mm -hmm. That I should have the fans create a Mandroid man cave background. Since I blew the other one up, because we had the old, you know, we got a new logo and stuff like that. So hey, any of you guys that are good at Photoshop or anything like that, if you guys want to create something for me, send it to me at davidpena at androidspin.com. We're gonna, I mean, I could try to make it where maybe we'll do a giveaway. <laughs> Like I said, this is just something that just came right now. But for the foremost, I'll announce your name. I'll freaking say you're awesome. You're gonna have, you'll be, you know, the background will be behind me. You know, just send me something. I don't expect a lot of people to send me stuff. And even if I tweak it a little bit, don't feel bad. Just tweaking it, just, you know, maybe a little bit I'll have to tweak it. But overall, it'll be your background. So yeah, send me an email with the background. You know, you don't have to. I'm not saying everybody should, but you know, just create something for me, please. Well, Alright guys, hit that like thumbs up button if you like today's show. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel. And make sure you subscribe to my alter ego, The Film Junkie, where I do movie news and film reviews. Also, follow me on all Twitter and all that stuff down there in the balls here. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, I am David, your Android Junkie here at AndroidSpin.com. And this has been the Mandroid Show. Just make sure you put, like, a lot of girls. A lot of girls in the back. Okay, now, maybe not that many because, you know, we do gotta be a somewhat professional because... I'm a professional, to the max. My mom says I am. <laughs>